I, for a long time, was probably the most unbalanced motherfucker on the planet Earth. And I, take, I took great pride in that. I, it, was on, it was on purpose. It was on purpose because I knew for me to get to where I wanted to go, where I had to go, there could be no balance. There, there could be no, well, eight hours a day I do this. It had to be, I'm such in a fucked up spot in my life, I'm such in a dark place, that if I don't dedicate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 a year, to becoming a better human being, it's not gonna happen. And so the people who were in my family had to realize, hey, I'm sorry that you may think I'm neglecting you right now, but if I don't fix myself, I won't be good for anybody. So yeah, I became very unbalanced for a long time. I mean, balance is important, but you have to first go to war with yourself. You gotta figure out what you're about and be proud of who you are before you start to get that teeter-totter nice and balanced out. So, right, so if you read my book and you see what goes on, you'll see how many mistakes I make along the way trying to find balance, trying to find peace in myself. And I fucked myself all up. I'm, I'm having relationships. I'm having, you know, I, I get a girl, you know, knocked up. She's pregnant. I'm, I'm in the worst spot of my fucking life. You know, I don't have a real job. I'm going through SEAL training. I haven't graduated SEAL training. I'm going back to SEAL training for the third time. And now I have a girl that's pregnant. I, I'm all over the fucking place. I don't have, you know, I have no money. I have, I have nothing. And I'm, and I'm establishing a life with the family and I'm all fucked up. So, you know, a lot of us get in situations where we start establishing all these different things and pop up all these different pop-up boxes and our life is fucked. Cause we haven't fixed ourselves. You know, until you fix yourself, don't, don't start another journey before you finish your own journey first or, or not finish it, but at least get a good, you know, foot start into it. I had to invent a guy that didn't exist. I had to invent a guy that can take any pain, any suffering, any kind of judgment, be called nigger, be called whatever the fuck in the world, and be able to stand in the fucking room and say, go fuck yourself. You can help yourself get through the times that suck. Real life. This is real life. 90% of your life will suck. 10% will be fucking happy. You may be lucky guy and have a lot of fucking money, have a great ass woman, all this shit. Trust me. One on one with that fucking guy, he's missing something. His life still sucks because he hasn't face something that bothered him his whole fucking life something is still eating that motherfucker up almost everybody everybody eating you the fuck up but maybe you found a good way how i did growing up on how to ignore that voice that's saying you ain't facing some shit thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the video